Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to morning prayer on Wednesday, the 3rd of March. Uh, as you know, we're in the season of Lent. My name's Francesca Perlman, and I'm an ordinand on placement here at All Saints Karsh Alton. As usual, we'll be following the contemporary version of morning prayer, which you can follow online, and I've given you the link, or you can use the app, or you can use the book. So let's just quieten ourselves for a moment or two before we start to pray. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory for ever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our psalm today is Psalm 35. Contend, O Lord, with those that contend with me. Fight against those that fight against me. Take up shield and buckler and rise up to help me. Draw the spear and bar the way against those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those who seek after my life be shamed and disgraced. Let those who plot my ruin fall back and be put to confusion. Let them be as chaff before the wind, with the angel of the Lord thrusting them down. Let their way be dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. For they have secretly spread a net for me without a cause. Without any cause they have dug a pit for my soul. Let ruin come upon them unawares. Let them be caught in the net they laid. Let them fall in it to their destruction. Then will my soul be joyful in the Lord and glory in his salvation. My very bones will say, Lord, who is like you? You deliver the poor from those that are too strong for them, the poor and needy from those who would despoil them. False witnesses rose up against me. They charged me with things I knew not. They rewarded me evil for good to the desolation of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, I put on sackcloth and humbled myself with fasting. When my prayer returned empty to my bosom, it was as though I grieved for my friend or brother. I behaved as one who mourns for his mother, bowed down and brought very low. But when I stumbled, they gathered in delight, they gathered together against me. As if they were strangers I did not know, they tore at me without ceasing. When I fell, they mocked me, they gnashed at me with their teeth. O oh Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue my soul from their ravages, and my poor life from the young lions. I will give you thanks in the great congregation. I will praise you in the mighty throng. Do not let my treacherous foes rejoice over me, or those who hate me without a cause mock me with their glances. For they do not speak of peace, but invent deceitful schemes against those that are quiet in the land. They opened wide their mouths and derided me, saying, We have seen it with our very eyes. This you have seen, O Lord. Do not keep silent. Go not far from me, O Lord. Awake, arise to my cause, to my defence, my God and my Lord. Give me justice, O Lord my God, according to your righteousness. Let them not triumph over me. Let them not say to themselves, Our heart's desire. Let them not say, we have swallowed him up. Let all who rejoice at my trouble be put to shame and confusion. 
Let those who boast against me be clothed with shame and dishonour. Let those who favour my cause rejoice and be glad. Let them say always, Great is the Lord who delights in his servant's well-being. So shall my tongue be talking of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 8, starting at verse 18. My joy is gone, grief is upon me, my heart is sick. Hark the cry of my poor people from far and wide in the land. Is the Lord not in Zion? Is her king not in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their images, with their foreign idols? The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the hurt of my poor people I am hurt. I mourn, and dismay has taken hold of me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no phys physician there? Why then has the health of my poor people not been restored? Oh, that my head were a spring of water, and my eyes a fountain of tears, so that I might weep day and night for the slain of my poor people. Oh, that I had in the desert a traveller's lodging place, that I might leave my people and go away from them. For they are all adulterers, a band of traitors. They bend their tongues like bows. They have grown strong in the land for falsehood and not for truth. For they proceed from evil to evil, and they do not know me, says the Lord. Beware of your neighbours, and put no trust in any of your kin. For all your kin are supplanters, and every neighbour goes around like a slanderer. They all deceive their neighbours, and no one speaks the truth. They have taught their tongues to speak lies. They commit iniquity and are too weary to repent. Oppression upon oppression, deceit upon deceit, they refuse to know me, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, I will now refine and test them, for what else can I do with my sinful people? Their tongue is a deadly arrow, it speaks deceit through the mouth, they all speak friendly words to their neighbours but inwardly are planning to lay an ambush. Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord, and shall I not bring retribution on a nation such as this? Take up weeping and wailing for the mountains, and a lamentation for the pastures of the wilderness, because they are laid waste so that no one passes through, and the lowing of cattle is not heard. Both the birds of the air and the animals have fled and are gone. I will make Jerusalem a heap of ruins, a lair of jackals, and I will make the towns of Judah a desolation without inhabitants. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, you who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence, before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God most high. You are full of compassion, long-suffering, and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance to those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more in number than the sands of the sea. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me, according to your great mercy, for all the host of heaven sings your praise, and your glory is for ever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. 
Our New Testament reading is from the Gospel of John, starting at uh, verse 60 in chapter 6. When many of his disciples heard it, they said, This teaching is difficult, who can accept it? But Jesus, being aware that his disciples were complaining about it, said to them, Does this offend you? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, the flesh is useless. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But among you there are some who do not believe. For Jesus knew from the first who were the ones that did not believe, and who was the one that would betray him. And he said, For this reason I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted by the Father. Because of this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer went about with him. So Jesus asked the twelve, Do you also wish to go away? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom can we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you, the twelve? Yet one of you is a devil. He was speaking of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, for he, though one of the twelve, was going to betray him. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. We now say together the Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. We now come to a a time of further prayer. And please join me in responding, we pray to you, O Lord. In penitence and faith, let us make our prayer to the Father and ask for his mercy and grace. For your holy people, that they may triumph over evil and grow in grace, we pray to you, O Lord. For those preparing for baptism and considering confirmation, may they live by every word that proceeds from your mouth. We pray to you, O Lord. For the leaders of the nations, that you will guide them in the ways of mercy and truth. We pray to you, O Lord. For the needy, that they may not be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. We pray to you, O Lord, for the sick in body, mind and spirit, that they may know your power to heal. And we take a moment to pray for those who we know who are sick. 
for these individuals, we pray to you, O Lord. For the poor in spirit, that they may inherit the kingdom of heaven and see you face to face, we pray to you, O Lord. We also bring to you those serving in the Metropolitan Police Force. Please protect them as they seek to protect us. Help them to act with righteousness and integrity and help them to have good relationships with the communities they serve and work with. For these we pray to you, O Lord. Remembering the Bishop's Lent call, we bring before you all those serving in the Wandsworth Food Bank. Give them your love and compassion and all the resources they need to help the many needy people who are short of food in that area, that they may have a sense of your love. For these we pray to you, O Lord. We also remember the recently departed. Benjamin Davy, Ada Lowton and Albert John Robert Hall and those who we remember at this time of year, including Celia Cady, Winifred Hayward, Arthur Munden, Richard Cavendish, Peter Hall Green, and Kathleen Knight. We bring their names to you, and we pray that you will comfort those who are left behind. For these we pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend the world for which Christ suffered to the mercy and protection of God. Our collect for today. Almighty God, you show to those who are in error the light of your truth, that they may return to the right way of righteousness. Grant to all those who are admitted into the fellowship of Christ's religion, that they may reject those things that are contrary to their profession and follow all such things as are agreeable to the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may you know the Lord's presence with you and his blessing upon you throughout today. <laughs>